Say, oh God, oh God. Beautify and color my life. With your glory and favor. With your glory and oh, favor. God. oh God. Beautify and color my life. Beautify and color my With life. your glory and favor. With your glory and oh, favor. God. oh God. Beautify and color my life. With your glory and favor. Raise up your voice and praise. So belege banda gaga shia galaga di In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I prayed this prayer with some of my children yesterday night, and I want us to pray that prayer before we get into the word. Now, chapter two and verse two, it said, "For the Lord hath turned away the excellency of Jacob, as the excellency of Israel, for the emptiers have emptied them out." Lord, every operation of the emptiness in my life and family come to waste my life, my years, my time, my destiny. Put an end to them tonight. Every activity of the, he said, the emptiness have emptied them out. Every activities of the emptiness in my life, in my family that has come to waste my years, waste my life, waste my destiny, waste my health. Oh God, put an end to the activities. Put an end to the oppressions. Raise your voice and pray tonight. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Nothing will waste your years. I said nothing will waste your years. Amen. Nothing will waste your destiny. Amen. Nothing will waste your life. Amen. You know, I told my children yesterday night while we were into some levels of warfare that sometimes what sponsors a man to fight is because of the battles he had been through in life such that you see I got to a point in my life where it looks like the devil know when a breakthrough has come they put a million naira in my hand in less than 24 hours it is gone not that I wasted it but different kind of issue from every part of the country as if they told them something just came this one has happened this one has happened that's the operation of emptiness he said God has stunned the excellency of Jacob you understand what that means where a man's life become a mockery a man worked for 35 years nothing to show for it he started a building it has been like that for the past 50 years it's the operation of emptiness as they gather they scatter some can be people the devil will plant around your life to waste your years to waste your time the emptiness they come around your life they waste your time waste your years how can you see a lady telling you i'm looking for a husband at the age of 40 and she has been through 15 relationships those are activities of emptiness they come to waste years he said there is an operation of what we call the canker worm the caterpillars the palm on john chapter one their ability is to waste years yes you look back and say if i have used these years for something profitable i'll be better than what i am can we pray that prayer one more time every operation of the tears in my life in my family I put a stop to it now. Raise your voice and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You see, even if you are a minister of the gospel, you must understand certain kind of operations of warfare. Are we together? A man of God has been pastoring for 15 years. How many years? 15. 
came to one of my spiritual father, Apostle John Sleeman, and said to him, he said, ah, I drinking. When I pass by, uh, pa by, pa by, pa by pa law, I want to take drink. He said, I don't know what is happening to me. 15 years. And Papa looked at him and said, what killed your father? He said, beer. What's the name of your church? Holy Wine Ministry. Say, change it. He said, but I heard God. He said, no. The empty has given information such that you thought you were hearing God. <laughs> For 15 years, they made you do what God never wanted you to do. You just waste your time. I told people my fear was not to make it after school. No, that was not my fear. But to make sure I am in the center of God's will for my life. So that I will not, after 40 years, discover that I'm supposed to do what I'm doing right now. That was my biggest fear. Money was never my problem. No. <laughs> it was that I don't want to waste my years and waste my time doing what I was never meant to do in life. That's why I was praying. I've had men of God testify. I was working at the age of 60. God said, I never asked you to do that. Going to the ministry at 60. Is that not a struggle? I pray for you. I don't know why I am praying this way. But the Bible said he walked in them. Philippians 2 13, both to we and to do of his good pleasure. I don't know whether this meeting is for someone tonight. You have looked at your life, it looks like there is nothing to write home about because you have been affected by the oppression of what the emptiness. But tonight, I put a stop to their work in your life. I put a stop to their work in your family. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. I pray for you. Whoever the devil have sent to waste your time. You know, I told some of my children. I said one of the greatest gifts God gave to me in life. Is that he planted the right people around my life on time. Because you can have all the zeal to want to do right. But when you have the wrong people. You understand why Nigeria is where it is now. Because of the operations of the wrong people. Around a man. I pray for you. Whoever is around your life that the devil have assigned to waste your time, waste your destiny, waste your years, waste your inspiration, waste your fire, waste your passion, waste your zeal. I declare and I declare, God disconnect you from them now. In the name of Jesus. God disconnect you from them now. In the name of Jesus. Sit down. Holy Spirit, breathe upon us your word. Pull me a little closer. Take me a little deeper. I want to know your heart. I want to know your heart. Your love is so much sweeter than anything I've tasted. I want to know your heart. I want to know your heart. So tonight we are talking about atmospheric programming. Like I said, the teachings in this season, some of my children called me last week after the service and said, Papa, why do you like teaching certain secrets during break time? Say because those that stayed actually sacrificed. And I'm not under the pressure of time. So I can read to God's people. Ecclesiastes 10 and verse 15, the Bible says that a fool 
the labor of a fool weareth him out because he doesn't know the way to the city the labor fool weareth him out because he doesn't know the way to the city so the fool knows that there is a city the fool actually put certain amount of work and effort in life but the bible said it is no what no result because he doesn't know the way and that's how it is for us in our journey of life journey to success journey to climbing heights with god amounting to greatness and if we don't know his ways and understand the protocols and operandi of the spirit we'll find that we become frustrated at certain junctions of our life we find out that, that what we begin to experience in our work with God is just we we'll rise today and we fall tomorrow. Are we together? We find out that we will begin to understand um, seasonal experiences such that there will be a season where I'm running for God and I'm very hot for Him, and there will be a season where it looks like the fire is nowhere to be found because we don't understand the way of the Spirit. And so it is our responsibility to steward the workings of God in our spirit. At every point in time, God comes to carry out his work in our life in a bid to put us in the path he has set for our destiny. That's what we call the workings of the spirit. Every events of our life are not coincidences, but are the school for our training. The trainings of God are not virtual classes or physical classes where you see a teacher with a board. But God takes an advantage of the events of our life to fulfill his will and to pass in us his character, his intention, his nature in the inside of us. So one thing we must do if we will last in God, one thing we must do if we amount to greatness is that we must learn to steward the workings of God in our spirit, in our lives, in our environment. We must learn to program our atmospheres with spiritual codes. Now, many have talked about, you know, God shared this to me about three years ago while I had a challenge and I was pressing in God, praying about it. I said, Lord, this matter and this matter, why is it not working this way? Have you become so frustrated where you feel you have dispensed tangible truths to people and you can't see the results being produced in their lives? You have given them access to secrets, truths of God's word, truths of life, and yet you look at their life, it's nothing to write home about. That's what drove me in that season to the realm of prayer. I said, Lord, what is happening? And God said, let me show you a secret. He said, our generation has been culturing men, but we have failed to culture atmospheres. There are certain atmospheres that makes it difficult for you to grow spiritually. Have you not found that sometimes you get to a new location? That's the end of your prayer life. You try to pray at night. It's like something keeps you down. We've been culturing people, giving them truth without showing concern of the atmosphere we are releasing them into. No matter how fertile the soil of Mina is, if you bring apple and put it in this soil, does it grow well? Don't we have soil? Why? The atmosphere. The environment is not conducive for what? It's growth. That's how some of our lives are. That's why sometimes you seem not to understand what is happening to you. Atmospheres. Great spiritual truth if you amount to anything in God. Well, I got married and left Gidan Kwando. Went to a different location first two nights it was a talk of war I thought I was praying but I knew what Paul meant in his vision when he said whether I'm in my body or out of my body I do not know that was my experience that night you know when you, you don't know whether two hours or you actually slept two hours you just woke up in the midst of it and said it was a struggle and I knew I had to do something about my atmosphere else that becomes my natural experience i've seen where parents change location and that was the downfall of their children they begin to manifest habits and behaviors they can't explain because of atmospheres atmospheres can affect mood 
can affect behavior, can affect character, atmospheres. Atmosphere can affect the kind of favor you enjoy. Atmosphere. Do you know you can pick negativities from atmosphere? <laughs> you can pick death from an atmosphere. A death never meant for you, but it was hanging on the air. And you were unfortunately to be there, so it rested on you. I'll show you from scriptures. That's why you must be careful. You must learn how to culture your atmosphere. If you want to grow adequately, you must create an atmosphere that is conducive for your growth. An atmosphere that supports your success system. The atmospheres. There are territories like Niger State where there is the yoke of poverty. So if you come to such territory, it drops on you if you don't culture that atmosphere to your own taste and favor. Suddenly you find that you begin to have the experiences of everybody too. You begin to have the experiences. You must learn to program your atmosphere. You know, if you are in the school of our Greek, we have what we call the greenhouse effect. Why? Where they kept certain plants in a greenhouse and they subject them. The greenhouse is just in summary subjecting those plants to controlled moisture, temperature, and sunlight such that it receives the required amount for its growth. Taking that plant outside of that greenhouse is the death of the plant. Some of you, where your downfall began, where your struggle began was that you moved to a new house. You just rented any house you like and entered inside without understanding that negativities or positivities stay in atmosphere. Jacob came to a point and saw a stone and he decided to rest his head. And suddenly he bumped into certain encounters without a prayer point. Why? That situation was cultured by Abraham years ago. That was the point Abraham met God and called him the God of Bethel. So that experience stayed in that atmosphere. That even after so many years, when his seed bumped into that atmosphere, he began to have the same experience. Imagine if it was a demonic concussion that took place there. I remember a man I knew that packed to a house. And every time he's inside the house, he began to sleep. He began to hear people discuss. They discuss. In the midst of the house. Some of you can no longer understand your dream. Because you didn't know. You are now picking it from the atmosphere you are in. Some of you, where your downfall came was you slept in the, in the place of your friend. And that's how you bumped into a reality you are not expecting. And that was your problem till date atmospheres are powerful as much as we culture the people we must culture the atmosphere we are what sending them to else whatever we teach them still becomes a waste because when they go there the atmosphere is not conducive for what for their growth and development. a place like in Ankwanu, very difficult to survive in god very difficult some of you know the only time you have a prayer like in public yeah, you are among brethren. You, are just, you know how your nights are. You say you woke up, you don't know how you offered the alarms. You know it's a struggle. That's why I came to show you certain secrets of why certain men come into an atmosphere and begin to have different experience in that territory. Why they see others still struggling. So how do I culture my atmosphere? Number one. Asian words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let Asian words learn to culture divine presence. Learn to culture divine presence. One time a friend of mine came to me. He said, 
He said, I'm being oppressed by night. People come to oppress me. Oppress me. Sometimes it looks as if somebody's on my neck, as if I want to die. I asked him, I said, do you have your audio Bible? He said, yes. I said, play it all through the night. He kept his audio Bible playing all through the night, slept. By the time he woke up, he saw a dead cat in front of the door. He has changed the survivor of that cat. When you don't like your experiences, look at your atmosphere. Most of the times we just put concentration on our life. That's why you hear people saying, I've done all I could. But did you do something about the atmosphere? There are atmospheres that demons conducively dwell. There are atmospheres that suffocate their existence. Touch your divine presence. Step into your workplace. You step into your room. Coach show the atmosphere by bringing divine presence. Culture, the atmosphere. Culture. That's why some of you, you step into places you don't know why you're going to receive this favor. Not because there is an altar fighting you from your background. No, not because there is a generational cause. It's hanging in the atmosphere and you picked it. Suddenly, you begin to, why is everybody just having issues with me today? Nobody cost you. You picked something wrong from the atmosphere. So you now begin to understand why some of us see us culture, the atmosphere, we put worship songs in the air. We just play it around. To make the atmosphere conducive for a kind of spirit we are looking for. Number two, discern atmospheres that stirs up your spirit. Discern. For Jesus, it was the solitude place. Mark chapter 1, verse 34. The Bible said, Before the burning down. He goes to a solitude place. One other place that Jesus had as a secret is the Mount of Olives. <laughs> there are places, there are atmospheres that brings out inspiration in the inside of you. There are atmospheres that bring out creative ideas. For Ezekiel, it was the riverside. Anytime he finds himself beside the river, the prophetic well opened. Then he sings songs like, by the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down. Why men were weeping? He said, I saw heavens open. Are we following? When you read the book of Daniel, Daniel 10, 11, 12, every vision Daniel had came when he went to the seaside. The sun which atmosphere steers up your spirit. Atmosphere, whether in the form of vacation or atmosphere, whether in the form of certain people. I call it my inspiration system. When I'm down, when I'm, 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 I'm looking for straight head in life, I know who to bring around my world. I know atmospheres that steers me up. You get to a point you are weak. You get to a point you are down. You need your inspiration to be high. Discern which atmosphere steers up your spirit. You know some people is noisy place when they are in the midst of noise because when you keep them in places where it's quiet they'll sleep <laughs> the sun with atmosphere regulates your body system the sun. by the riverside by the riverside Every of his major encounter and vision Daniel Ezekiel had, they got them when they went to the riverside. So the day he discovered that anytime I'm in this kind of location, the prophetic well opens up the more for me. He takes advantage of it to always find himself there when he needs such kind of inspiration. Pray in the Holy Ghost one minute. in Jesus name we pray number three how do you culture your atmosphere by what you hear or watch by what you hear or watch 
you are introducing spirits into your atmosphere by what you hear. Look at what the Bible says in Ezekiel 2 and verse 2. He said, as he spoke to me, the spirit entered into me and set me on his feet. But to men, what they saw was ordinary communication. They didn't know. It was what? A release of spirits. That's why some of you, 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 you hang yourself with pornography films. Listen, 90% of those people you see in pornography films are marine spirits. They are not humans. That's why you can't understand your night. Say, I don't know what is happening again to me. You introduce spirits to your atmosphere by what you hear and what you watch. What you watch. Careful of that. I remember some few years ago. Let me just tell you a story. Suddenly, I was at home, and my younger brother said, "He said, brother, there is this." something stand cross tv i think by this olumba olumba something he said i just saw it in. i said really they have television now i said we watch so i put the chat i was what I, I don't criticize people i like to watch i was watching i watched all through the night almost 1 a.m i was trying to discern what is happening here and oh god blessed me that day they gave the song that was being sung to one angelic lady she sang the song like a marine spirit. You know that was song? That it's we entering inside our body system. So when I couldn't take it anymore, I off the TV to go and sleep. Oh my night. <laughs> I knew I brought something into. That's why men are initiated by certain rituals they read and things they listen to. Say, shout chas. Chas. <laughs> Is it chas or chali? Chaliko? You don't know what you brought to your world, to your atmosphere, by those things you have said. That night, all I encountered was those people around me singing those songs and saying, Come and join us now. Come. I said, Ah, where? To where? They were, the lady was so enticing me. She said, Don't you like my voice? She will sing and sing and dance and dance for me. I knew I brought something into my atmosphere what you watch and what you want listen to culture your world. number four how do you culture your atmosphere what does you mingle with what does you mingle with atmosphere contagious you can pick up habits behaviors from at of those you mingled First Samuel chapter 18 First Samuel 19 rather 18 to 24 the Bible talking about Saul sending messengers to go after David unfortunately David was already in the company of all the prophet Samuel the Bible say when they came under the atmosphere of Samuel they began to prophesy people they sent to go and kill he was not comfortable he sent the other band of messengers he said maybe the first were not too powerful when they came again and saw David and missed the prophet somewhere, they too began to prophesy. So I said, okay, I'm the boss. Let me go myself. By the time the Bible says he came a little close to where they were, he tore his skirts and began to prophesy. Just coming into the atmosphere of a man. That's why the easier way to get a stronger eye is to stay around strong eyes. The Bible says, iron sharpens iron. So a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Changes what happens around his life. Are we together? Very, very important. First Samuel chapter 10 verse 10. The Bible says, I've received a prophecy from Samuel. The king Saul went and saw a band of prophets enjoying music as he came into the atmosphere. Bible says he began to prophesy and men began to ask his son also a prophet because of what an atmosphere if atmosphere can be contagious shows that I have to be careful of the kind of atmosphere I mingle with I've had people who were normal just by attaching themselves some of you now what I'm saying right now you're going to begin to check your life you just attach yourself to people that begin to have one issue to another one issue you suddenly begin to realize you are having the same experience gradually 
Proverbs chapter 22. 24 to 25. Said, make no friend with an angry man, lest you learn his ways. Attitude are transferable. They are what? Transferable. You must be careful. Why are we saying this? So that you can't say this is the kind of life I want to live. And then you mingle with wrong kind of atmosphere. They can influence you no matter the strength of your will. Number five. Consistently maintain a high spiritual temperature. Consistently maintain a high spiritual temperature. Luke chapter 11 verse 24. The Bible says when an evil spirit leaves a man, he goes to, dry. look up, he goes to where? Dry places seeking for rest. When he finds none, he says to himself, let me go back to my house. I find if my house is still conducive, comes with seven more terrible spirits. No, that's not my emphasis. Let's take it again. When an evil spirit leaves a man, he goes to where? Dry places. For what? Rest. And he findeth none. It means you can live a life without praying about the devil like he exists. All you need to do is to culture an atmosphere that is unconducive for a survivor. Not everybody fights battles and wants the devil out every day. They just culture around their life atmosphere that makes it difficult for the devil to dwell. We call those kind of places where dry places. The characteristics of dry places, the desert region, is the intensity of heat. Maintain a high spiritual temperature. The Bible calls the devil Belzebub. It simply means the spirit of lies. Do you need to tell a fly where is fire? He knows it by touching. Maintain a high spiritual temperature that has the ability to dissolve negativities. That's the major thing you need to do. So when you come into atmosphere, you don't begin to pick. Some of you don't understand. You say it's mood swing. You didn't know you pick it because you came into a strange atmosphere. And suddenly your mood is changed. How many of you have found that as some, you are happy, you were playing with people, you just came into a place, maybe by the fact that somebody just stepped in there and has dropped a wrong atmosphere, and suddenly you begin to manifest anger that you cannot explain. People begin to, you are just angry. Later you sit down and ask yourself, what was wrong with me? <laughs> I am careful of atmosphere. Careful of atmosphere. maintain a high spiritual temperature. Rise up to your feet. Learn to culture your atmosphere. So when you go back to your class, I remember while I was still in the campus, one night I was going to read and I saw some of my brothers from the other side. Under, I don't know how it looks like now, but, but you know engineering complex, you know we have a stair that wants to take you to the floor. At the back side, there's like a, a hole there. Sat down there, I was saying, bah, rah, 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 rah. I don't want to say it here, so I don't bring it longer to myself. And I said, ha. Ah. So this is why starting people will enter first lecture. They look like they've received lecture for 24 hours. So I said, an headache is catching me. So when I come into class, I say, Ziv lectek or rosita branda askile don dosi akatash. I dissolve every negativity. In this atmosphere, I command the weather to work for my favor. Everything yet be conducive for me. Don't just be culturing yourself and accumulating truth and information. Culture the atmosphere for it to survive. <laughs> if you take a fish out of water, no matter the olive oil you pour on it, it will die. It won't survive with time. You must put it in its what right environment. Now, should I show you something? Do you find out that? before God creates a thing he creates first the environment before he made the stars he made the firmament before he made the plants to grow he made the land before he made the fish he made the water he makes the environment first even before he formed man and breathed upon him the Bible says he planted a garden 
He planted a garden so that the man will survive conducively. It's a secret God taught me. So I knew it very well. You want to start a business? Culture your atmosphere. What did I say? You can have all the business IQ men, all the skis, every all the right ups and everything intact and still fail. Because you, you didn't do something. So the business is right, but the atmosphere is not right. Especially in a place like Mina, that has the ability to close businesses. There's a natural anointing on the atmosphere. It has the ability to close businesses. Only something for even 10 naira. Sometimes you, <laughs> the business can still close. <laughs> it's a very terrible song. When I packed to my new place, I prayed all through the night, anointed the place, dissolved every negativity. So a few years ago, while I was in Cardina, a woman came and said, Man of God, please, we want to pack to this compound. I want you to know whether we should pack there. I said, ah, do they ask question of where to pack to? He said, because the former compound we are living, all my children is miscarriage. And I had many people having the same experiences. Have you not heard people say that? They say there's something about this compound. He just a place built a house built by a man that has buried different things under the soil. I want to survive like that. Culture your atmosphere. Culture your atmosphere. And so why I moved to the place at night, very close, not my house exactly, a bit close to my place, we begin to hear birds singing. One day I asked my wife, I said, what disturbs you with like that? She says, cricket. I said, I wish I didn't rent. It should not disturb me again. So every night it would come, and we shouted. So one of the day I came out, I traced and I saw a cage for the bed. And I destroyed it. I think some of my children were with me, we were at home. I lay down on my on the couch. So that we are there discussing. I started seeing that bed flying around the window. So I was talking to them. I said, look at this bed, it has come again. Only for my daughter. Said, Papa, it is inside the house. Everywhere is locked. <laughs> You've not seen which is Abby. You've not seen witchcraft. I take. Everywhere locked inside the room. So I said, no problem. Everybody pick your Bible. We'll finish the whole book of Psalm 150. We'll share, <laughs> we'll share it amongst ourselves. As we start to read, I can't see bed again. No door disappeared. Learn to culture your atmosphere. Why do you see I'm, I'm, I'm that comfy? I say, even, no matter how which you are, you can't come to where I stay. Because I've done something about my atmosphere that I have the ability to suffocate people. I told you the first time I went to where I'm staying. In the night, a man came to watch me. I was praying that night. Pray, shagalagalagala. I just sensed the demonic presence. He says, look at this one. While he came to my window and peeped, we met eye to eye. I said, fire out you. The next morning, they were carrying ambulance. Someone is dead. I told my wife, that the person I keep for night without you. They were disturbing me with this, their mocks. They put the speaker and face mask and was troubling me. Ask my daughter. I, I said, if let me test. This is how the imam used to work now. So I told my daughter, let me leave him first. He's not now after me. If his team is there, I kill him. I'll show your atmosphere for your survivor. There are places you step into. That's the end of favor for your life. God show your atmosphere. Not just atmosphere in your house. Even the atmosphere you want, you carry so that you step into a place everybody wants to show you favor everyone wants to show you favor why? because of an atmosphere that you carry you step into places people want things for you people want to pay sometimes what makes them even go for you are things that doesn't make sense he said you have the same name with my sister cousin and the person carry your file that's all I've seen crazy reasons why people were helped it doesn't even make sense. I've seen people telling you, I don't like you, but just give me the fire. There's something about you I can't explain. Culture your what? Atmosphere. I've given you the five rules and the five ways. Like I said, you can struggle in life. I can release an impactation upon you. I can release God's grace upon your life. But if the environment is not right, it will struggle to survive. And it is your job to steward the workings of God 
around you. What did I say? It is your job to what? Still what the workings of God around your life. That's like some of you say, I want to go on for three days fast. Day one, 12 noon. You are not yourself. Something is biting you on the left. You know, the cross is upon you. All the cardinal points. Things are happening there. You can't explain. <laughs> Even ministry wise, you need to understand atmosphere. I came to a soil where no church pastors 5,000 in the whole Niger state. No church. I didn't say Mina, Niger state. So I knew the atmosphere I have come to. When do you pray like the way you pray? Why do you, right now we are on an eight hour stretch prayer for six months every night? Why do you do like that? I, say, I know my soil is different. Every man survives based on his location. I put an apple now tree in Joss. It grows faster. I put it here. <laughs> Am I not going to say anything? Lift up your hands and pray. I was in a meeting with one of my papa. And he was giving a prophetic word. Listen, he was giving a prophetic word to a lady. And he said to her, he said, you are battling with a strange disease now. Listen, listen. He said, yes. He said, actually, you were working with your friend. They fired it to her. But she has a strong spirit. So as, since they could not rest it on her, they gave it to you. When we talk, I'm talking from the point of an experience of the things our eyes have seen. The things our eyes have seen. Atmosphere. 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 Sometimes you wonder why I play sound all through my night. I'm on the sound. So even Jesus selected atmospheres where he knew he could hear clearly how comes you are just jumping everywhere you don't have an atmosphere lift up your hands and pray Negativity, listen. Negativity hangs in the air. Some of my children, listen. Some of my children were with me about two weeks ago. About two weeks ago. And I was leaving the office at night. By the time I came to the, to the junction of the market to take a bike, I turned and I said to them, I said, there is death hanging in this campus. I climbed my bike again. I said, it's all right. We'll see tomorrow. I came back the next day. While I was leaving, I said, there is death. Did somebody die the next day? The next day. I said, there is. Now, look at why am I saying this? All right. Is that it was hanging on the air. You can carelessly pick it and think it was your time to die. That's why you are having unexplainable death everywhere. Unexplainable diseases and sickness. People don't know where they got it from. How can a young man of 10 years old is having BP? From where? I'm telling you something that is happening. The devil know men are careless about this. They don't understand. Some of them, they only went to visit a neighbor and they picked something from the house. Let me tell you how powerful it is. Some two nights to, to the Easter conference, some of my children were in my place, so they slept there. The day I came to the office on Thursday, while we sat down preparing for the conference, we need for the communion. I said to them, I said, God said, I should take care of what? Everything. Nothing should touch, leave the account. It should leave my own account. And my daughter said she had a dream where she saw herself telling them that God said we should take care of her. Now, what am I saying in essence? The dream was not for her. She only picked it because she was in my atmosphere. I was having a dream and she was speaking my dream. An immature person would think the dream was not meant for them. You can pick things from atmosphere. You can pick things. Are we together? So you are careful in the days we are and the way you live your life. 
walking on the street how will people hold something in a car you are traveling and they were chanting for three hours and you kept quiet some of you who slept and snored on top and someone was chanting in your presence for three hours and you were comfortable then you are wondering what is now happening to you <laughs> atmospheres you know what I want to do first I'm going to pray one prayer with you guys to dissolve I've taught you I've given you the things you can do culture your atmosphere lift up your hands and pray this prayer say Lord every negativity I have picked from an atmosphere I now with your blood see some of you listen so my wife while she was my fiance then while in school she had a friend and she was doing well excellent in academics and she was moving she kept moving with that person and I knew something was wrong around the lady's life that was sponsoring her experience so I told my wife I said I'm not comfortable with this movement because I have checked your spiritual state you can't manage what I am seeing around this lady <laughs> the first semester she had about almost two missing results <laughs> she came crying I started laughing I said I want you she starts picking the experiences of the person having similar issues not every negativity I have picked up from wrong atmospheres I dissolve see some of you was in a place you stepped into you can't explain the attitude that you you, you don't know what is happening to your body again a wrong atmosphere listen listen while I was in the campus I've shared that story over and over again while I was teaching I, I think I shared it to the to some students a lady while I was in the campus picked something from someone she will be writing exams. <laughs> the body will come out to have sex. She will round up the paper, take a bike to Boso to go and meet the person. That's how bad it was. So this one was not, it was not something natural again. Something is happening to the body. Are we ready to pray tonight? One prayer and we are done. The I have picked up from wrong atmospheres that is sponsoring negativity in my life i deserve your blood raise your voice and pray tonight there is power there is power
Amen. One more prayer point we are done tonight, and I profess our vows. Now, could it be that that addiction was not because you wanted to do wrong, but because you were in a wrong atmosphere? Let me say something to you scientifically. Now, and I've asked questions, I've done that research. I'm sure maybe some of the ladies will bear me witness to that if I, if I say what I want to say now. I was told that there is a possibility that when stay together for a long time, their period will climb to almost each other's. They'll begin to... It, am I right? <laughs> I, I pray you understand what I'm teaching you tonight. It will begin to rhyme to almost closer dates. Atmospheres are powerful. Are powerful. They are powerful. That's why you must pray to meet the right people. There are men that carries open heavens when they get close to you. See, listen. There are men that attract the voice of God. By the vantage points of their closeness to you, God will begin to speak to you. Not because he wanted to talk to you. You know, listen, listen, listen. I, I said this to my children while we were praying at night yesterday. Do you know till date? I have never asked one in grace them to ever fast. One till date. Some of my children have done 10 days dry, 5 days dry, and, and as many as they can do. Why? There is an atmosphere a man can carry that kills your appetite for food. If This year I banned it. I said, if you near my office, nobody fast. <laughs> because the weather is too much. That's how prayer is for some of them. I remember one of our sons that came to university and, and he said, how oh, is somebody we pray for 12 hours? What is he saying? <laughs> he's, in, he's in that realm now. Why? The atmosphere of a man, it has the ability to call out the depths in the inside of you. It can place upon you like a mantle, a man's atmosphere, serve on you, bring you to a height you are not qualified for. Some of them are there standing. Some of my children, 72 hours stretch, they can go. Stretch. Something that they were struggling to one hour on their own. So when he come to the company of the prophet that you see prophesying, he say, you will also what? Prophesy. <laughs> and they ask, is Saul also amongst the prophet? Atmospheres are powerful atmospheres. Don't joke with it if you want to last and go far. Don't. Don't. Don't sacrifice it for anything. Look at a young man. It's a young man that came to the ministry. How many days? And you are putting, you are putting a, an empty card into an POS and, say, and the money came. Is that not crazy? What make you to begin to think like that? An atmosphere has jacked up your mentality to a height. So that you don't struggle to think it. That's what it does. It's beyond what he has said to you. He said, as he spoke to me, spirits entered. He said, the words I speak, they are spirit life. I went home. Towards the Christmas period. And immediately I stepped my feet into my head. My, my family house they will give this one food he said no I'm not eating they give the other one food and I was telling my children yesterday it was only on my wife it never worked she said me I will eat <laughs> everybody began to fast no declaration why? a man's word came with an atmosphere and it was I knew what was happening it was dropping on them it was dropping that's how even your taste can change. I was speaking to one of my son. I saw something he showed me in the picture. And I said, your taste is even higher than my own now. He said, Papa, I learned it from you. I never taught it as a lesson. The atmosphere changed the way he perceives life. Changed the way he thinks. I remember those days, some of my children, we looked the way I walk. 
I can sit down on the spot 72 hours walking. And they say, ah, Papa, I used to walk too much. Oh. It's your grace. Your grace. I say, you carry this grace. Some of them walk like that now. It came on them. Lift up your hands and pray. I pray for you. May you never find yourself in the wrong atmosphere. There is a case I am currently battling with right now for a family. A young man, just a wrong atmosphere. He can't understand what is happening to his life. Can't. He's gone. That's the part we are facing now for that young man. Wrong atmosphere, just one. I pray for you. May God in heaven plant the right people around your life. I say I pray for you. May God in heaven plant the right people around your life. Every negativity you have contact from wrong atmospheres, it dissolves now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every struggles, every pain, every difficulty sponsored by a wrong atmosphere you encountered, it ends now. 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 In the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May God in heaven plant the right people around your life. May God plant the right people around your life. I say may God plant the right people around your life. In the name of Jesus. Anyone that will not advance the course of your life. Anyone that is not advancing the course of your destiny. Hanging around your life. May God disconnect you from them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Listen. We wouldn't have much opportunity to pray as I would have wanted us to pray because I want the meeting to end now so I can go. But go back and do so much of work with all you've learned. Please. A man married a woman and the woman began to battle fibroid. Listen to this story. So it live during the deliverance section by one of my father in the faith. The woman began to battle fibroid. And while they came to my papa, he looked at them and said, woman, what's your problem? She said, fibroid for social number, let's say 20 something years. He said, go and sit down. And he said, let the husband come. And he put his hand on the stomach of the husband and the woman was bringing out vibrant. I was confused. And he said to her, <laughs> he, said to the, he said, the man was placed a cause that he's going to have difficulty in childbearing. But the demon that sponsored that cause entered into the woman from him as vibrant. But you know that man would not think the wife was the problem. It was the career of the curse strange situations strange situations some of you have been caged with wrong mindset by wrong atmospheres you've picked certain mindset from atmospheres and you have been caged but I pray and ask oh God that whatever is functioning in your life holding you bound, holding you in captivity that you have picked from a wrong atmosphere some of you find it difficult to change even when truth is coming to you you said no because you have picked it from a wrong atmosphere it dissolves now it dissolves now in the name of Jesus 
In one minute, ask God for whatever you want him to do for you. One minute. I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer lives. All of creation testify and it's life with the knee cry I know my Redeemer listen <laughs> listen learn to act your faith is that okay? learn to demonstrate your faith one of the services I came here and I prophesied that people's grades are going to change. But you see, it didn't change by itself. If it had happened that way, it is magic. The young man said, I took step and went to my level advisor and said, check my result again. I asked him, what did you score in the course when you checked the first time that it was an F? He said 37. And it changed. And you know, you might say that was a coincidence. The next service, a young man said, I heard this testimony. I said, eh. Let me to go and meet my level advisor. He had his own again. What step are you taking to activate the words you hear? Don't do church. Don't just copy notes like secretaries. Put God's word to work. And see it produce results for you. Begin to take charge of your atmosphere. You walk to your hostel. It doesn't matter who is there. No man is scared to count that thing when he's praying in a public transport. Enter your room with your own kind of atmosphere. Superimpose it there. Are we together? You're going anywhere. Some of you don't know the atmosphere in the, in the office of your level advisor. You came and he told you you are stupid. Get out. You came when he had a wrong why you were going when he comes he want to give you everything you ask for I pray may the words you hear begin to produce results for you I say may the words you hear begin to produce results for you every word you are said Numbers 14 28 he said only as I live what I hear you say to my hearing that I will do whatever you have mentioned in God's presence I decree a reign of miracles 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 may God give you a reason to testify may God give you a reason to testify may God show up for you may God show up for your family in the name of Jesus Open as a breeze Let my whole life Be expressions of your grace Those with your tide come out quickly, quickly, quickly Daily as a leaf Open as a breeze Let my whole life Be expressions of your grace Oh, we cry, we cry, we cry, our Father, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name, hallowed be your name. We cry, we cry, we cry, our Father, hallowed be your name. Up your hands. I decree and I declare that at your hands are lifted up, they will never come down. Your hands will not know dryness, it won't come down to beg. In the name of Jesus, may your seed speak for you. May it open doors of favor for you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy a reign of miracle money. I prophesy a reign of financial favors. In the name of Jesus. From this day on, 
may God cause men to give to you. Wait, I heard something. Listen, for the next seven days, whatever you will require to do with money, mark my words, I said so. I didn't come for a crusade and go. I am your pastor, I'm staying here. For the next seven days, what you will need to do with money, God will begin to move people to do it for you. You will get to your transport before you pay somebody has paid. Whatever you need that you need money to do for you within the next seven days, stir up the hearts of men to begin to do it for you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Everyone that has put his own hand into any form of investment. I hear God say to my hearing, these next seven days you will hear good news. You have put your hands, you have invested money, something, whatever it is. These next seven days. <laughs> hey. Within the next seven days, may there be a multiplication miracle. May there be a multiplication miracle. Ay, 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 ay. Some of you are into cryptocurrency. <laughs> you have a coin, it is 10. You will go back after this service. Between now and Friday, keep touching. It will change to 20. I am praying for a multiplication miracle. To the end that the old I know that there is a God that sits in the heaven. Every area of your life, you desire a multiplication miracle. May it happen for you. In the name of Jesus, may it happen for you. In the name of Jesus. Go back and check your portals. The kind of testimonies I will hear on Friday is that I checked my CGPA, it supernaturally increased within the next seven days. May God prove himself as God. May it make it happen for you. May it give you a testimony. May a master to come for you, come for your families in the name of Jesus. You will not beg, you will not borrow, you will not be in want. You will not suffer lack. You will not know shame. You will not be stranded. You will not be confused. You will not be frustrated. You will not be depressed. May you enjoy unending peace of mind. Unending flow of joy. Unending flow of joy. Unending flow of joy. What will make you happy? May God do for you. What will make you happy? May God do for you. In the name of Jesus. You want to say, Pastor, please help me. I want to be born again. All right? Or I want to dedicate my life. My work with God is no longer strong. It's nothing to write home about. I want the Holy Ghost to come mindly upon my life and help me to live the Christian race. Please, wherever you are, you are in any of this category. Let me see your hands up. Very quickly, let me see your hands up. It's a wonderful decision you want to take tonight. I want to strengthen my work with God. I want to know Jesus better. I want the Holy Ghost to come fresh upon me tonight. Wherever you are, let me see your hand. If you are waving, if your hands are up, let me see it well. Let me see your hands. Please wave it up. Let me see your hands up. Thank you, our Father. If you are doing so, please come to the front. If you are waving your hands, please come to the front. If you are in any of these categories, please come very quickly. Let me pray with you. Lift up your hands. Lord, I release a blessing upon your people. Let your blessings sit upon them. Let your hands be strong upon them. I decree you blessed. Enjoy uncommon favor.
God's grace shines upon you. 